Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn and Champagne. This is season six, episode three. Woo! Thank you guys so much for joining another episode of Popcorn and Champagne. And we invite you to go to our YouTube page where you can like and subscribe. And that is Popcorn and Champagne. That's right. Yep. And follow us on Instagram, popcorn underscore champagne. That's right. And also shout out to our sponsors, Colonel's Popcorn. And don't forget you can get 10% off of the Tony and Tiff mix and it is hot. It's what, frosty and spicy. That's right. Which one are you today? No, it's heat. Heat. Well, which one are you? Heat. Okay. I'm fr <laughs> you're fr okay. I'm actually heat because it's hot. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, you get 10% off. Use the code TTMix10. You get 10% off. Amen. Yeah. Now, now it's time for infotainment. <gasps> Judge Greg Mathis' wife filed for divorce after 39 years of marriage. Girl, what? I don't know world? how she stayed that long. Right. So she seemed a little She was 61. So she's 61. And um, she um, filed for divorce on August 22nd, mm. citing irreconcilable differences as the reason for the He seemed like he's a lot, though. I like him, actually. No, my mom loves oh, him. Oh, gosh, yeah. I was going to say, I really like him because he was doing good. He, you on his court shows. Yeah. He no, he brings like the drama, yeah. honey. But it's so crazy because, you know, they, have, they had a separation on July 17th. They got three grown, four grown children, mm -hmm. like 39, 36, mm -hmm. 35, 34. And it's really sad to see a family, when you've been together that long, mm -hmm. break up, you mm -hmm. know. But what's also interesting <laughs> is these, you need to tell your mama, these judge shows right now have been canceled. After 20 years, Warner Brothers has canceled um, Judge, um, Judge Mathis. And people, Judge Judy? Not, I didn't say Judge Judy. Oh. Judge Mathis and People's Court. Because I don't think Judge Judy goes to she Warner Brothers. She's on free form. So okay. I think she's okay. Okay. But um, well, they canceled sale. it. They canceled it because Warner Brothers said that they are out. They're getting out of the judge show business. Okay. Yep. So after 20 years. So now Judge Mathis plans to find a black production company mm. to start maybe doing his judge shows again or mm -hmm. maybe doing a talk show or maybe doing some type of political a talk, talk show. show. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Yep. Yeah, but we wish them well. That's yeah. sad. Thirty nine years. I know. You know that's it sad. must be bad, honey. You live at sixty one. Jesus, what it you gonna be. do? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's still young. Yeah, so. she is, and she's a nice looking lady. Yeah. And, you know, I, I they actually had a reality TV show. Did they you did. watch it? I did not. Yeah, it must not have been too great for them mm -hmm. to pick up because it looks like it was only one season. Mm -hmm. I did watch it. I Dude. Okay. I really did. No, he's entertaining. He now. is entertaining. But, but I'll tell you one thing you got to do. Okay. Before you do anything else mm -hmm. is go to YouTube and try to find the radio interview. Okay. That he did with Wendy Williams. Back in the day. Yeah. He ate her up mm -hmm. so bad. It was, it was so many so people bad. that ate her up back oh, yeah, in the day. It was. But that one, classic. Okay. You got to watch it. Okay. You got to listen to it. It's classic. I mean, he read her up and down. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Read her up and down. Read her up and down. It was good. Interesting. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know, peace of mind is everything. Yeah, honey. absolutely. That is true. That is true. Okay. Reality show recap. My big, fat, fabulous life. I'm not talking about mine. <laughs> Actual life. It's, it's been on season 12. It's been on 12 seasons. Why are you laughing? I don't know. You think I got a big, fat, fabulous I, life? I, I, I think I'm it's fat. very full. Oh, okay. Okay. Your life. Okay. It not is. your body. Okay. How do you look okay. fabulous? Thank you, darling. Okay. On your, look at your shoes. Yes, girl. stop. I stop. love girl. it. Huh. Huh. Like what my, huh? <laughs> What you say? What say you say? Again. Say it again. I didn't hear it. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> get back here. Reality show recap. We have my big fat fabulous life. This is on TLC. You know, I am a TLC girl. You're not a TLC girl. You like only thing you like on TLC is Six Hundred Pound Life. Mm -hmm. And with here, the sisters, Tammy. Now. Oh God, I love that that's show. Right. That, that's my I girl. I know you watch that, girl. I love Tammy and Amy. My girls now. Girl. I love them. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Oh yes, oh, I am. Love them. Oh, poor Tammy. Um. Anyway. Um. This is about Whitney. She's a fat girl. When, she, when I tell you she can dance her tail off, mm -hmm. she was a skinny girl. And I, it's been on for 12 seasons. She's a pretty girl, She's too. gorgeous. And um, she has polycystic ovarian syndrome, which mm. caused her to gain a whole lot of weight. And even though she was still big, 
she could still dance. Okay. And I think that's what TLC liked about her. But this show, it's a cute little show to me. Um, you know, she's gone through a whole lot. I mean, I remember when, you know, she first got on the show, her mom was alive, she's passed away. Mm -hmm. Her dad is still on the show with her now. And then he found out that he has a daughter from back in the day oh. and they've embraced her. It is really a cute little show. Okay. You need to watch it. it it's, it's cute. Where are they based uh, out of? Do you know? Oh, I can't remember. Okay. Where I didn't know she was of. from the South or yeah. not. But it's like, you know, she's letting everybody know, even though you're a plus size girl, yeah. you still can get done. Absolutely. You can get it done. She's honey. got wearing her bikinis on yeah. the beach. Yeah, and, and she does not care. Yeah. She promotes self love and acceptance. Oh. And you have to give it to her for that. I for love sure. that. Yeah. Next, we have documentary recap, yep. Receiver on Netflix, ooh, ooh. and it follows to my, um, for me, too many NFL receivers. <laughs> Never too many receivers. You know, I am very partial to receivers. I'm partial to wideouts because, you know, my baby is That's a wideout. Right. So Devontae Adams, yep. Justin Jefferson, yep. George Kittle, Debo Samuel, and Amon Rasta Ross St. Brown. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, what was it for you? What I mean, you, you thought it was too many. No, it's okay. It's just, um, it and seemed like it was the same thing duplicated. Yeah, it is. Well, I mean, I think QB1, I think was a little bit better, but I'm not mad at this one. I think okay. for me, because I had a vested interest in it, because yeah. I'm watching it like, you know, Absolutely. you know, I'm a receiver's mom. And I, I thought it was good. George Kittle he is a tight end, but you know, tight ends kind of have a receiver-ish. Mm. They're kind of like that. Mm -hmm. And you know, George Kittle does live here in Nashville, mm -hmm. plays for San Francisco 49ers. And I really wasn't upset with it. I loved Justin Jefferson's story with his mother. Mm. And I'm going to tell you, if that ain't me telling Chance to do certain stuff, you know, and don't say what I told you the other day to do. That I told him to do. Don't, don't say that. But when I tell you I love that, you know, yeah. because it's like, you know what? You, when you make a touchdown, do something. Mm. And that's how he came up with the gritty. That's right. He came up with the gritty. And now everybody does the gritty. That's right. And I love that these parents, or this particular family, yeah. were so invested. It was three brothers. Mm -hmm. The other two were good. He was a late bloomer. Mm -hmm. The other two did not make it to the NFL mm -hmm. like he did. He went to LSU. I, I liked it. Okay. I, you know, and this is one sports documentary. I'm surprised we're not. I on the know. Same. It, I'm sure it was. I, 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 the second episode, I was kind of done. Done. You was tapped out. Yeah. Okay. It just, I don't know. You know, I'm a drama queen, girl. Yeah, but we're, but you're also a sports documentary girl. I am. You've turned me into a documentary person. Yeah, but you just, you I want did you to that. like that. You, you waken that Aww, in me. Sweet. <laughs> So champagne moment? I, it's definitely a champagne moment for me. And okay. I hope there's going to be a season two, three, four. Hopefully we'll be able to see Chance on there one day. Let's yes. see. Let's see. claim that. Let, I'm claiming Jesus. it. I'm claiming it. I'm claiming it. Guys, drama Woo. show recap. Mm -hmm. Presumed Innocent on Apple TV. Mm -hmm. um, let me just tell you, it's nine episodes of Just Magic with Jake Gyllenhaal and this drama of a horrific murder that happens let me say this before you even start going down. Let me say this. Let me say this. You said to me, mm. are you watching Presumed Innocent? I said, no, I haven't watched it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not doing it right now. I've got all these documentaries. I'm, I'm just, you know, what is it? B-I-T-C-H. Watch it. So it still took me like two, three weeks mm -hmm. before I did because I've been watching this other thing called American Dynasty. But I'll tell you about that later. Okay. And when I tell you, I was hooked. Baby, it is good TV. Excellent. It is good TV. Excellent. It takes you on so many twists and turns oh my God. to where I thought, oh, he surely did it. Yeah. But no, maybe she did it. But then in the end, when it was revealed <gasps> and how it was revealed, um, ma'am. And so the wife, can we just talk about her? She's beautiful. You know, she was in The Loving. She was. You remember? Yeah, I love that movie. She's an movie. odd, beautiful How woman. How you say her last name? Don't say it. I don't know. Uh -huh. I'm not going to do that. Mm. But <laughs> she's amazing. You know what I'm talking about. I do. Yeah, yeah. She's amazing in everything that she does. But he was a cheater, like big time. Yeah. And so the assistant district attorney was found murdered. Yep. And he was having an affair yep. with her. Yep. So he instantly was linked to the murder because they found his DNA everywhere. everywhere. But he had carried on this affair with her for like a year. Like, yeah. And well, loved her. Well, they remember 
he was supposed to stop messing That's with right. her because the wife found out about it and they were trying to they repair were in therapy. Their, exactly trying to repair That's the right. relationship. And then it started back up. That's right. And then I, the, what she said is, you have got to stop loving her. Oh, girl. And he impregnated her. <sighs> Listen. Mm -mm. And so she stayed for all of that. But I will say this. Her heroic moment for me was when she was like, I'm not doing this alone. Oh, absolutely. You telling these children absolutely. right now. Absolutely. What you've not, done. That's yep. right. Mm -hmm. You're not going to make me yep. go through this by myself. Yep. And so those children... To me, it was too much. It made me cringe. The things that they had to witness about their father. Yeah. Throughout and and this. I thought, too, you know, they handled it well, but you can also see it was um, hard on them. Yeah. Definitely hard on them because, the, the you know, the person. But what was so I don't want to give the ending away. I, no, it's just let me tell you, just, the ending is so good. We're not even. Oh gonna, my we're god! We're not gonna spoil it. Oh my like god! Like we normally do. Yeah, but you clearly, no. you never know who's watching. That, that, let me just say that you never know who's watching. Yeah, I tell Chance all the time, cameras are everywhere. Yeah, you never know who's yeah. watching. Yeah, but you never who's know. watching you inside your house? Inside your house. Okay, so it 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 was. <laughs> Let me just say, I, it's, 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 it, it is so it is good. It is so good. They're going to win an award on it's this so one. They good. have to win an award and on Jake this one. And Jake is so arrogant through it all. Yeah. Even at the end yeah. when he's, you know, giving his ending statement. Yeah. but Because he represented himself. But the prosecutor with the cats, with the cat. Girl. I, I just knew he did it. I did too. Yeah. But it was crazy. But he was in love with her too. He mm. wanted her to notice him. Yeah. And she wouldn't. She That's was right. like, I don't want to work with him. That's right. He's like, ugh. That's right. I don't know. I'm going to tell you. Definitely. This, is, this one, if there's anything that we have ever told you to watch. This is one of them. This is one of them. Yeah. This it's is a champagne one, moment. This is champagne moment. This is one to watch. It's it will not stuff. disappoint. It will not disappoint. And once again, Apple does it again. Yep. <laughs> okay. Movie recap. Tempted by Love on Lifetime starring Garcelle Bouvet. Who I did get to interview at Essence. And, and Layla she, Rashawn, too. And Layla Rashawn. You did interview both of them, right? Um, beautiful women. Yeah. They're yes. best friends, right? They're, be they're friends. Friends. I don't know okay. the best. But okay. um, it was kind of a... So Terry McMillan is doing this series on Lifetime where they've given her the platform to create these movies. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the second one that came out was called um, Forever uh, with Megan Good and Tay Diggs, which I just watched yesterday. Uh, and I love Garcelle. I love Layla, but I just felt like, ooh, it lacked. It was so cheap. And then the ending, like, come on. You just going to leave us hanging like that? Like, he's just going to get on the, that wasn't how Stella got a groove back ended. Is it my turn? <laughs> <laughs> This it is so predictable, but not it's fresh. Lifetime can sometimes put out some good stuff, but it was so predictable, not fresh. Same Stella got her groove back. I was underwhelmed. I was ready for it to go off. It was not good. Aww. It was not good. You, you didn't like it either. It wasn't good for you either. But it was not good. I, I know. And I know you. So, 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 so the guy that, no, the love interest. He's a cutie pie. Is a cutie pie. Cutie pie. And um, he's an Omega. Is he? Um, and he's really getting into his acting He was, flow. he's in reasonable doubt. He, he is. Yep. Um, and so Garcelle plays a chef who, um, her aunt gets sick and she lives somewhere in the South. She comes down and she ends up, they fall in love by the love of food, yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, it had a good storyline. It just, um, you think? Okay. It just fell a little flat. All the way flat. Not little. Tell it. It just not good. It was not good. And I'm like Terry McMillan. Come up with something else. Come and honey, up with something else. And 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 so the forever one. I don't, I'm I, after that one. I'm I'm done. Forever two is like that. Meaning. It was a, it, it, I, you probably think it might be better than, than this one. Okay. I'm not going to try it though. Let's I see. want you to I'm look home. at it. I'm good. It's, I'm so good on that. Nope. Cause I love both Tay and Meg. Meg, I do too, but. But yeah, I was just like, okay. All right. Yeah. No, that wasn't my jam. 
Y'all can have that. But one. it was good seeing Layla act and mm -hmm. be back on the, on the screen. screen. Yeah. Because she's so sweet. So for me, it was a burnt popcorn <laughs> moment. Do not waste your time on that one. <laughs> Tiffany, on no, the other it was, hand. It was, it, it, it was burnt popcorn. Garcelle, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> it's not personal, Garcelle. It's not. It's not. It's not personal. It's just, it's not. It's just the movie wasn't good. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. okay. All right. What, what you watching, girl? <laughs> Let's move on. Let's go on, honey. What you watching? Talk about the union, the union and your twin. Honey, I wish. Your twin. The action thriller on Netflix premiered August 16th starring Halle Berry, who's 58 years old, guys. Let me just remind looks you. Looks beautiful. Baby, when I say looks beautiful. her scenes in this movie, still doing all of her stunts, trying yes, to. Yes, go. And Mike, I'm sorry, Mark Wahlberg. Marky Mark. Yeah. And the Funky Bunch. He was kind of complaining, you know, I think we mentioned this on another episode, um, but he, he was kind of complaining about his stunts. And she's like, what are you complaining about? I've had two ribs broken, a fractured wrist. And deaf in one ear. Deaf in one ear, Let's honey. Stop. I've broken a finger. She was like, dude, please. But um, I thought it was cute, a um, uh, cute little movie. She goes back to her hometown to recruit him mm -hmm. to be in what is called the union, which is like a little CIA operative mm -hmm. type deal. And they go to um, on this mission overseas. Mm. And it kind of brings back Mark would I like it? to life. Would I like it? Would it, would it disrupt my ADHD? Tony, I don't know, because, baby, you be over. I, I, sometimes I think I got you, but it, I, I liked it. I thought it was cute. Okay. It's cute. Okay. All right. And it's a lot of, so I'm a big action-packed queen. Mm -hmm. I've noticed this about me. Mm -hmm. I like war movies. Yep. I like anything. Then you're going to like the next one we talk about. I like about violence. I like, I know. Why do you like violence? I huh? just do. What's wrong? I don't know. What trauma? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. But Hallie looked amazing. She always does. Um, yeah, so. She always does. It was cute. That's your twin. Baby. Land of Bad. That's another action thriller on Netflix Bye. starring starring Russell Crowe. Talk about it. Awesome. It, and it also uh, stars Liam uh, Hemsworth, who's a hottie. And um, Milo or Milo? How does he pronounce is it? Is it from This, this is, is Us? Us? Milo. Milo. Um, so they're, it's a Delta Force team. They're ambushed in enemy territory. And it's all about them getting out. Mm. So once again, I was highly entertained. And Russell Crowe is working. He also works with the military, but he's behind the scenes working it through to get them through the forest and where they need to bomb and all this stuff. So it's really good. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I would be. Oh, it's that. good. Wyatt Earp and the Cowboy War. It's on Netflix. It's I think no, I think you will like this because it's it's a western. Yeah, but someone else is saying is talking about it. I I love that. Okay. It's, well, I like Sometimes documentaries. I, no, I do too. Okay, so this is a docu drama, and Ed Harris narrates the riveting docu drama that you know they say that some of this helped shape America. Okay. Not us, obviously, <laughs> but <laughs> but it's a, them make a make America great people. That again, yeah, not us. Okay. So the legendary feud between <laughs> Wyatt Earp and Ike Clanton <laughs> unfolds through vivid reenactments in the gritty docu drama. I really I think this is going to be good. I, I'm interested so to see. So my that. dad is probably going to love this because he's a huge. I felt like you would Western like it too because person. you like Western and military stuff. So I felt like you would like it too. Yeah, I just don't want them talking for the. Per I don't know. It's weird. I I saw it come up on Netflix. Yeah, I'm going to give it a check chance. it out. Just ch watch one episode. Let's see what what we talk I'll about. I'll do Would you like it? Okay. The next one that I just think is so funny is Unstable season two. It's on Netflix and it's Rob Lowe and his son John Owen. Um, Lowe. Who's also a Benjamin Button. Rob Lowe. Like he's aging. Yes. He looks I amazing. I 100% agree with that. All them drugs that. he did. You know do. another thing too we didn't talk about <laughs> and we'll go back to this is the Bratz. Oh, I liked it. I started to ask you I if started, you watched it. Yes. It was really good. And you know to start they didn't like to be called Bratz. I know. We need it was to really talk good. about we that talk about, We'll talk about it next time. Um, but um, he is a biotech genius and his name is Ellis Dragon. He's really wild. He's mm -hmm. really bizarre. And they called his son in, who's living in New York, to come down. Like, the mom died. They called the son in. Would you come down here? And you got to 
pull your dad, get get him together because okay. he's, he's he's unstable, mm, right? Mm. So season two started. It is really really good. Season one, I'm not gonna tell you what happened, but you gotta watch season one to of course get to season two. But yeah. it is so good. It's funny. Okay. It's quirky. Okay. It's quirky. I'm gonna tune in. Yeah, I think and you'll then, like it. We didn't write this down, but can we give an honorable mention to House of Dragons season two? Let me tell you something. Can we can we just because we we. <sighs> We started late and it ended July. We, when it ended, like two three weeks ago, two, three right? Weeks ago. Yeah, so it was July. Okay, yeah. um, phenomenal, phenomenal. I'm gonna tell you something. That show is one. It's very cerebral. You gotta think about That's that right. show. And sometimes stuff that I didn't understand, I would have to Google it to mm -hmm. make sure I understood. But when I tell you, that was by far a good season. Didn't necessarily like how it ended. So Didn't a, like a lot of ended. people are up in arms about how it ended. But let me just tell you, baby, you're in for a treat because next season, it's all about the Civil War that's going to occur to figure out who's going to be on the throne. Remember, we were talking about this. I can't remember what episode. It was the episode with the dragon fight mm -hmm. and Fener the queen that never was. Yes. That episode was hands down the best. to me the best episode. And I think that was like episode one season finale. Mm. That's how good that one was. You talking about when she died? Yes. No, when that the, was this season. No, she I know. I'm season. saying it was oh. compared to. Yes, yes, yes. I'm comparing I that. Cause, Absolutely. Because I thought episode one when Renera's son died in that dragon fight. Absolutely. And Anon killed mm. him. I thought, oh my God. Mm -hmm. That episode, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you that. Now, now, this truly was a build-up season. It was. No, no, no. <laughs> development. Thank you. As <laughs> Tiffany said, it was development yeah. season. Because so, it didn't start getting good at third season three. I mean, yeah. uh, episode three. That's right. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited. I hope they don't make us wait two years. But um, I know it's a lot of production that goes into production for this. Oh, my gosh. But bravo. Bravo. The dragons. Bravo. Amazing. Yeah. 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 So again, HBO. That's right. Top notch. Um, so we're going to talk about that when it appears again. Um, the sne sea snake and his children, oh the, the, the two yes, sons. Yes, the two sons. It's just so and much. And his wife. It's, it was yeah. his wife that I know, passed away. I know. Oh my God. It was so good. It was very good. So, so very I, good. I, I just wanted so, to give a shout out. So I will say, let's challenge everybody. If you've not watched House of Dragons, mm -hmm. go ahead and start with season one. Yeah, you won't be disappointed. You won't be disappointed, and then go ahead and mm -hmm. watch season two because it is phenomenal. It is it's excellent TV. Yeah, excellent TV. Okay, guys, um, that wraps it up. Yeah, another episode <laughs> of Popcorn and Champagne. Please don't forget to follow us on Instagram at popcorn underscore champagne and anywhere you get your podcast. And make sure that you like and subscribe to our YouTube page, which is Popcorn and Champagne. Major shout out to our sponsors. That's right. Uh, Colonel's Popcorn. That's get 10% right. off with Tony and Tiff's Mix. TT Mix. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. So lucky I can have it all. Can I simply ask you where you get this?